you start by opening your your mathematical software you open a note a note you go here you hit file new notebook I will magnify this uh, the screen to make it a little easier for the user so suppose uh, uh, you want to name this program curvature let me make this uh, the window a little bit larger magnify three hundred so um suppose we are we want to name this program curvature so the input the argument will be the position vector put r not and then we close the square bracket and we'll use the module command and uh, we uh, reassign your uh, our arguments i we let i equal to r not okay. and um by definition is uh, first obtain the derivative of our position vector so we type v equal d capital d square bracket r t and um uh we will uh, now compute the unit tangent vector I will denote this capital T it will simply be equal to um, V over the norm of V so V dot V and uh, the curvature then I'll call this uh, let me use the Greek letter kappa we let kappa be uh, equal to let me go to the next line here we let kappa be equal to is the reciprocal of the speed so we have one over the speed it's the square root of uh, the inner product of the velocity vector with itself time um, the derivative of the tangent unit tangent vector now we have to take the norm of this so we'll inner product this with itself we inner product this vector with itself and then to compute the norm we'll simply take the square root and then we close our module and you hit enter on your calculator pad so this program should uh, be able to return the curvature of uh, any smooth curve. Let us start with the sim simplest type of curve. We'll uh, compute uh, the curvature of, uh, of uh, a unit circle. The parameterization of a unit circle will be um, R uh, is uh, simply cosine of T and sine of T. Then we close the bracket. So I'm assuming that uh, if I compute the curvature, I should get 1 because by definition, the curvature of a unit circle is uh, 1 over the radius of the circle. But since the radius is 1, so it, sh it should be 1. So let us compute curvature. And then I put R here. Oh, uh, okay. The, we, uh, I omit to uh, simplify the computation because the way I... Uh, implement kappa it may return some really nasty outputs so I'm going to use the the simplify command to re to simplify the output so let me hit enter again R uh, and let's see curvature of R it's 1 as expected nice what if we change the radius of our circle if we write R equal to 2 cosine T 2 sine so this will be this is the parameterization of a circle of radius 2 if we compute the curvature of this circle we should get half because the radius is 2 it should be the reciprocal of 2 which is half so let's see exactly now let us look at uh, at, um, at a curve living uh, in a three dimensional space for example the helix we start with uh, the R equal to cosine of t and then uh, uh, the second coordinate will be sine 
of t and um, the third coordinate is simply uh, t. Let us see how this curve looks like. Let us uh, plot this curve first. Parametric plot 3D. I'm going to copy and paste this simply here. And then we let t go from 0 to 2 pi. So this is a nice curve. This is the helix. This is how the helix looks like. We can even make this a little bit more longer. This is what the helix looks like. So we want to compute the curvature of the helix. Actually, oh, get. So we use curvature, the, we, the program that we just implement of the helix. It's half. Nice. Let us look at the perhaps a more complicated curve. We can use r equal to um, t minus cosine of t and then we have 1 minus sine of t. This is like a cycloid type of curve here. Then we look at curvature of r. What should we get? Here we get uh, uh, the curvature here is not constant. It's depending on, on the our parameter t. Okay, so let's see. Let me define a function which is uh, keeping track of the curvature of uh, this curve at a time t. And suppose I want to compute the curvature at uh, t equal to 0 to this curve. So we type f of 0. It's 1 over 2 times square root of 2. What if we want to compute this curv the curvature at uh, um, pi over at pi over 4, for example? Nice. What about uh, the curvature at pi? Nice. Let me see. How does this curve look like? It should look like the cycloid. Let's see. We can use parametric plot. What is going from zero to two pi? Yes, it is a cycloid kind of curve. Let me go to nice. This is this well. It's really cycloid. Um. So this is a quick tutorial on how one can use um, Mathematica to write a program, a short program, which will compute the curvature of any curve. And uh, it doesn't have to be a one-dimensional, it, do it doesn't have to live for, uh, necessarily on a two-dimensional plane or three-dimensional. It can be a curve living in three, four, five-dimensional. Let us uh, uh, look at one la last example. Suppose we have this curve here. Um, cosine of t, t, t square, t cubed, and um, um, sine of t time cosecant of t. Okay, this is a fairly complicated curve living in uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dimensions. And then we want to compute, suppose we want to compute the curvature of such curve. We simply uh, call our curvature program and hit R. Nice. So we get this fairly complicated uh, function of t, which is the curvature at, uh, as a function of t. Let me uh, relabel this declare function, which keep track of this curvature. And suppose we want to compute the curvature at pi. Nice. So we get. So uh, this is not li this is not a limited program. You can compute the curvature of um, any curve living in uh, any dimensional, any dimension space. Okay. Thank you.